Hi YouTube viewers. Today in this video, I'll I'm going to tell you about study in abroad by Manohar Mohanta. Let us see the overview. We'll be seeing an introduction, why to study in abroad, where to apply, and when to apply, and list of documents which are required to study in abroad, and eligibility criteria to study. And what is the process? And then I will be concluding it by telling whether to study or not. So this is the overview of this video. So let us start without wasting some time. Introduction. So everyone's dream is to study in abroad and get an higher education, and then come to come to their native countries and then to serve their nation. Or some of them they think that we have to go to abroad and then we will be. Serving their nation and will be not be coming, but due to the lack of, of financials and due to the fear of exams, so many members will step a backside. So this video is for them who steps a backside, and by after this video they will be stepping front. They will be keeping their legs front and they will be going to the abroad and they will be studying there and they will make a wonders of the in their life. They will make a wonders. So their life will be changed, lifestyle will be changed. So final is financials is very important factor which I am going to tell how much amount required to go and abroad. So so many members think that a lot of money is required to go and abroad and to study there and so money will be wasted after coming here. So if anything I have left apart from this, just tell me. In comment box, just comment it. We will be making a new video of that, and I will be posting them. It will be helping to helpful to everyone who will be studying. So where to apply? This is the major question which arises for many people. So there are many countries like US, India, UK, Canada, so, and apart so many countries. As you can see the flags there, there are many countries. But one thing. To remember, whenever you apply, apply for a good cause, which is there, which is a, which is there your future, which depends upon your future. So, if you don't apply a good course, if you didn't select your good course, then you will be facing a lot of tr troubles. Like you will be not getting a job. So, job opportunity. You have to look at job opportunity and then apply it. If job opportunity is more, then apply it. So next step is when to apply. We have maximum three intakes. That is Feb intake, July intake, and November intake. These are the three intakes where students go to study in abroad. Out of these three intakes, I suggest go for Feb intake and July intake because in November intake, if you go after November, there will be a December. December everywhere in the country, in the world, sorry, in the world will be the Christmas holidays. So again, you will be coming back. To their native place, taking a flight and coming back again, you will be spending with your family. There will be a breakup in your studies. If there is a breakup in your studies, then you will be facing a backlog problem. So don't go, never go with November intake. So now let us see list of documents which are required to study in abroad. First thing, IELTS. That is not even English proficiency test. You have to be IELTS or PTE or a TOEFL. You can. Offer anything, academic documents, a valid passport, and financial proof that is should be a valid financial proof. And this is the stood eligibility criteria. It should be six, no band less than six point five, no band less than six. Sorry, I have written mistake. Just correct it off. I have corrected there. You can see, and minimum sixty percentage with fifteen percent backlogs in section one university, and funds should be. Minimum 25 lakhs. 25 lakhs is enough to go and abroad and to study. So 25 lakhs is enough. And I will be talking about sections in my next videos, upcoming videos. So students should be eager. This process. So in this process, how student can apply to an abroad? So first he should meet an agent. So university agents we have so many agents which are tired. Then he can apply through them, or he can apply directly to the university. And but later the university will suggest them to consult an agent. So I, my suggestion is go with an associate or an agent. It will be a better option for them. So associates, yeah. 
and my final conclusion if you study in abroad you will be having a wonderful opportunity i have already told you you will be having a wonderful opportunities when you come back to your nation or if you work there also you will be having a wonderful nation you in your resume it, it will be added one best university will be added in your resume and your career will be glowing like ups you will be doing a boom thanks for watching this video for more updates just subscribe my channel thank you